Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today we're going to talk about the new Monsters movie. Is it the worst thing ever made? Or is Rob Zombie a secret comedic genius? Let's find out on this episode. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just working on this video game idea I've had for a while. It's called Movie Hacker. You play a really cool dude running through a video store taking bad guys out. It plays a lot like the greatest video game ever made, Siphon Filter. What if you have the knowledge and experience to make a game and even turn it into a career? Well, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. They feature over 200 degree programs focused on getting you started in or advancing in a career that you'll love. You're gonna learn so much in their game development program. Stuff like how to create dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics, and interface design. You'll also learn how to 3D model and texture with game art software. Courses are taught by industry experts and the classes are extremely flexible, allowing you to work whenever and wherever. If you start at college and never finished, like me, SNHU will let you transfer up to 90 credits so you don't have to start over. That's up to 75% of a bachelor's degree and up to 33% of a master's degree. SNHU is affordable and their tuition rates are some of the lowest in the nation. Switch to a career in game development and make your dream game a reality. Go to snhu.edu slash hack the movies or click the link in the description. Hello, Casey. Hello, Sean. Hi. Sean, we're, we're back two weeks in a row talking about a Robert Zombie film. Isn't it great? Uh, I'm more shocked that you actually had me back on twice in a row. <laughs> this is like a miracle in and of itself. I didn't think it would ever happen, Tony. <laughs> well, well, it happened. Fun fact, I want to thank Sean. Because uh, a few months back, I was about to do a reaction to Clerks 3. And I think the joke was I was just going to cry the whole time. Uh, right, like Kevin Smith like does. Kevin Smith. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then you walked into my office and you went, Tony, they just released the Munsters trailer and it looks really bad. You should react <laughs> to it. And I went, I went, okay. And then it did super, super well. So I want to thank you for that. And now I want to yell at you because of that. I had to watch the <laughs> Munsters. <laughs> well, so here we in are. A, in a weird twist of fate, so did I. Here we so are. So did I, Tony. We're talking about the Munsters and we're here with Casey, the biggest robert zombie fan of all time you love all his films you're constantly what you said you you told me you're like halloween 2 is my citizen kane it's not halloween 2 <laughs> 81 obviously right or 31 i think was the name of the movie uh, oh 31's good <laughs> okay so casey is probably the only person on the show who actually likes rob zombies movies past past devil's rejects What's uh, wrong with you guys? I mean, I, I didn't say I totally hated those Halloween uh, movies. <laughs> I don't know. Second you know one, what? maybe. Second one, maybe. The, but. Only, the only way to find out is if you watch that episode. Exactly. Uh, I gave up after Halloween, too. I haven't watched anything sure. he's done. He would have made a great Halloween 3. <laughs> I wish he had been given the chance. Don't what react would it even that be? way. What would it even be at that point? I feel like it might have had the same tone of this. Loomis movie. is back again. <laughs> now he's got a green jacket. Oh, you think he would have remade the actual Halloween 3? Yes, yes. <laughs> I think that would have been great. You know what? I would have been you there for what? the gore alone, but you otherwise I'm good. That one I actually wouldn't have minded. See? I wouldn't have minded that. Who's I wouldn't have been as angry with Who's that yelling one? into the phone at the end, though? Like, who's playing that character? <laughs> he loved writing yelling. There's a lot of yelling yeah. in this movie. Is it Sherry Moon Zombie? <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> so yes, uh, the Munsters is out. Uh, I think we all love the TV show. You really love the TV show. Mm -hmm. These are your dolls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, yep, these really are my cool. Dolls. Can you believe it? There are toys on the set, and a dude didn't bring it in this time. That's usually the opposite. From I usually have like RoboCop and Predator here. I'm honored. <laughs> So, I had Arnold last time. You did have Arnold last time. My, my governor. That's right, the governor. Oh, the, Arnold, the governor. The governor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was just. So <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like broken in the box. Like in a oh my god. <laughs> it really does look like. That. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like a glass coffin. Have you heard of those? Remains to be seen. That's a joke from this movie. Uh, that was one of the better oh. jokes in this movie, actually. actually. <laughs> that was it's, what I actually laughed at. The setup and payoff was like real drawn out. But it was one of the better jokes. Yeah. Uh, 
Did you not get that's that? That's the one I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, Toward the end. That's that's um, one I was like, wow, finally I laughed after an hour. Uh, <laughs> I so, giggled throughout the whole thing. Um, so. Okay. Uh, You're allowed to. I loved the Munster TV show growing up. I used to watch the reruns. Um, before this review, I went back because they're on Peacock right mm -hmm. now. Uh, kind of like I did with the Adams Family review. I went back and I watched a bunch of episodes. So I, I only had time to watch like two or three episodes for this. Uh, it was like uh, Herman's Drivers Test. That's yeah. a good one. And the one where Eddie Munster has to do a school assignment on his family, and the principal and teacher don't believe him, so they go to his house and then they they're horrified. Uh, and yeah. that was actually one of my favorite episodes uh, as a kid. So when I was rewatching, I'm like I remember this one. Th that, that's some of my favorite stuff from the Munsters in general. Is yeah. just how they're just they know they're monsters, but they also just act generally speaking like normal people. And yeah. it's just how the other normies react to them is always hilarious. It is kind of like Adam's family, but Adam's family, I don't think they see themselves as monsters. Really, like, right. they don't acknowledge because like, they're not really monsters. They're kind of just weird. And they of course always get compared to each other because they came out around the same time yeah. and they're kind of dabbling in similar macabre yeah. scenarios. I like both. I like both. I yeah. use, I tended to like uh, the TV show more than Adam's Family. I think you said the same thing. Yeah. Do you prefer one over the other? I definitely prefer the Munsters TV show over the Adam's Family TV show, mm -hmm. but the Adam's Family movie, like the first one, especially. I mean, I like both, but the no. first one is like one of my favorite movies. Yeah, that was being because I watched, um, this is the only time they've rebooted the Munsters, by the way. Uh, they is that a, a joke, Tony? Is that how how much uh, of a joke did you just land there? I think it's like the third or fourth time. Yeah, because uh, they did the Monsters Go Home was the movie. That was the one that followed the end of the series, okay. and the only one that didn't return was Marilyn, because I guess they thought she looked too old. But that's kind of shitty. That's kind of <laughs> mean. She's in this one as a voice. Yes. Uh, then there was um, Monsters Today. Which that, I think was okay. like a reboot show that wasn't very good. Right. Because there was one in the 80s. That might be what you're talking about. Yeah. Or maybe early 90s. But there was one other movie in the 90s. I want to say. There, yeah. There was a 90s made like for Monsters TV Like Monsters Revenge or something like that. That yeah. brought yeah. almost everyone back. And it was like a 20 or 30 years well, later there kind was, of thing. There, there I have was a Christmas a, one. The, yeah. There was a reboot. <laughs> which was, was, just, was that old cast or new cast on that one? There no, was, was a new cast. New, okay. Yeah. Because there was a reboot with like all new actors and whatnot. Right. And like the original actors like are at a table. Yeah. In that one. Yeah, which. Which I will say, let, let's make one more Adams Family comparison there. Yeah. Up to that point, uh, the Munchers movies, you know, they weren't horrible, yeah. but you know, they were they were very watchable. I think they they kind of in the Christmas one kind of like they lose some of that Munsters element. They get a little too crazy with the Santa Claus stuff, but it's uh, fine. It's worth watching. Yeah, uh, and but then, a lot of the oh, but that was my point. But a lot of the Adams Family spinoffs have not been very good. Like there's the one with. Uh, uh, Oh, the the Fox Family Adam Tim Family. Curry, yeah. That, well, that was the movie. That was like basically a pilot for the Fox Family show. Oh, right. And then there's those yeah. animated ones. The first one's fine, but it's those just like fun. I'm kind of just I didn't like see eh. the second animated one. I the think I've only seen the first. The first one. animated one was. Fun. They go to like Hawaii or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Interesting idea. So the last time they rebooted the Munsters mm -hmm. was Mockingbird Lane. Mm. Did you watch that? Oh, no, yeah. but I know what it is. Uh, and they looked normal, right? Wasn't that the yeah. whole gimmick? Well, they looked, they were, they were still monsters, but they didn't look as monsterish. And Not at all. Like Jerry O'Connell had like stitches, but that was it. Yeah, but that's like um, almost like there's an episode of the Monsters where Herman turns normal. Mm -hmm. That's like, like yeah. what it was. It was like, oh no, I'm, well, I'm it was, hideous. <laughs> it was produced by uh, Brian Singer. Oh God, help me. Allegedly did some things. Anyway, produced by him. Uh, Eddie Izzard was Grandpa Munster in it. It was it was not good. What a lineup. And I love that like it didn't go to it, they didn't green light it yeah. as a show, but they're like, we put too much money in this. It's a Halloween special right. and like no one watched it. I watched it and I went, <laughs> This isn't very good. This is they were too embarrassed to call it the Munsters. They just call it Mockingbird Lane. Well, they, they were trying mm. to capture like that. Uh, yeah. Psycho did that at the time, and Hannibal, I think, was out around the same I time. I guess, yeah. Uh, so it wasn't good. And now we're here. Robert Zombie. I love, you love calling him Robert. Oh, why are you calling him Robert? I, just, I don't know. I did it as it's a joke funny. in the last episode that I kept doing. Yeah. <laughs> Rob Zombie, he's like, you know what? I wrote that song, Dragula. I'm... I'm the most qualified person for this. I have a photo with Dragula. Did <laughs> you a, see that? I have a video with me and Eddie Munster, Butch Patrick, driving in the Munster's uh, coach. Yeah, the other one. No, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was What about fun. my picture? I, that's cool, too. I wasn't Thanks. trying to, like, take away from yours. Do you want you? Uh, we'll show the picture here. Thanks. We'll show the picture. There's sure. The let, let the hack-offs right. decide. <laughs> yeah. um, the video is really fun, though. The what? Your your video. That's oh so yeah, fun. yeah. With Eddie, yeah, that yes. was funny. Butch Patrick, I like Butch Patrick. You know, he's he's got to keep those tables clean though. <laughs> 
Oh, but yeah, really funny guy. He he said that Rob Zombie was going to do a bang up job on this movie. Define bang up. He said he said he was <laughs> going to do the a words out of my mouth. <laughs> he was going to do a good job. Okay. Oh, Patrick okay. told me that personally on video. He said he's going to do a oh. great I'm, job. I mean, hey, he had just hung out with him, and I went. Okay, Butch. Yeah, right. Like, nothing against no Butch, faith. but he's been doing the circuit for, like, 50 years. Yeah. Like, of course he's going to think it's awesome. It's just like James Cameron saying, oh, yeah, Terminator Dark Fate's like a return to form. It's great. Look, you have to hype up the next thing, whether you like it or not. Whether you know it's bad or not, you got to hype it up. No, I get it. I do that all the time. I, You know, the first few Mint Salad episodes. I'm like, they're going to be the greatest <laughs> episodes. She has so much to say. I mean, I, I had to edit out so much mint salad, you know, <laughs> knowledge bombs in that episode that were just too intense for the internet. So you guys miss out some good stuff. I do it all the time. You got to be a hype man. Anyway, so he wrote and directed this, Rob right. Zombie. And I was like, you know what? It's his first attempt at comedy, I believe. Yeah, I mean, romantic comedy. Yeah. Romantic comedy. Oh, he's <laughs> two genres at once. I mean, I will say this, and I said this in the Halloween, t Halloween 2 episode, and yeah. I feel like I, my head almost got ripped off by Joe, but I think he is very good at writing dialogue. Um, I just think sometimes it just, it, it meanders too much. Yeah. Uh, I was very surprised that he wrote it, too. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, like, I had to look it up. He says he's a big Monsters fan, and I was reading mm -hmm. the guy that played, played Herman also was. I don't know about the rest of the cast. Yeah, he was uh, Daniel Roebuck. So, so yeah, good intentions? Of course he's a Monsters fan. He digs through the ditches and burns <laughs> through the witches and slams in the bag of his Dragula. Right. Oh, yeah. Bag? Did I say bag? No, I'm back. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I got the lyrics right. It's not 1998 anymore. Tony's cert memorized. certified Rob Zombie and, you know, white zombie <laughs> fan, clearly. Robert I loved Zombie. His, I loved his his music. You're allowed. I loved his I loved his first few movies. They weren't great, but I loved them. House of uh, Thousand yeah, Corpses, yeah. which he apparently doesn't even like anymore. I it's, still enjoy that one. It's got Captain Spaulding, so it's it's salvageable. <laughs> one of my friends watches that with his family. I watch House it with my family. Oh. Like yeah, you my, just sit down and watch Me it? and my sister and my dad, we love Devil's Rejects. My, uh. my sister cries at the end of it, which is kind of weird if you think about it, because like, well, the uh. violent murderers. Yeah, but in that <laughs> movie, really that, that is probably, and this is not a hot take by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> is pro that's probably his best movie overall. I mean, I, have, I haven't seen... Lords of well, Salem. Well, to be fair, I haven't seen him either. So. Or 31. Or 31. Thir was 31 another Halloween movie? No. Oh. Not no. like Halloween. Does it take place on Halloween? Or Yes. Huh. I can't remember. Well, anyway, Don't anyway. put that in. So, so he <laughs> is he's writing and directing a romantic a comedy. Romantic right. Comedy. And you know what? I mean, sometimes this happens. Sure. Where I don't like a director, and then they move to a different genre, and then I like them. Like it clicks, right. Like James Wan. I don't like James Wan's horror movies. I'm sorry. Really? I just, I, well, we, you were on the Conjuring episode. Yeah. You, know uh, you remember what I said? It's one of my favorite movies yes. in the genre. I don't oh, really okay. like his horror movie. I didn't check out Malignant. People keep telling me to check out Malignant. <laughs> Uh, James but Wan's I would argue the only that, ones that scare me. That might be one of his weaker ones, even yeah. though I do think it's good. But, but then I saw, I think Insidious is but better. But then I, like, I saw like Aquaman. And I'm like, yeah. well, he did a good job. Oh, you, like his, you like his action yeah. movies. And apparently his Fast and the Furious movie was really good. I'm like, oh, maybe I, maybe this was it. Maybe I just couldn't jive with his horror stuff. But I, I feel <laughs> with his action I stuff. think what the problem is, Tony, is last year or whatever it was, you watch fucking nine Saw movies in a row and you're just tainted now. There's that too. <laughs> There's that too. Uh, so like Rob Zombie, all right, you know what? He's trying something new. I'm going to yeah. give this one a chance. Can he write comedy? Can he direct comedy? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I so, think the Munsters was his perfect opportunity yes. to write and direct a romantic comedy. Yes. So, Sean, you watch this at work, I know, because I watched you watch it. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. You it it took me a little longer than maybe it should have because I had other <laughs> things going on, but yes. Yes. You watched this movie during a hurricane in Florida. I did. Did it get your mind off the hurricane? It got my mind off of Hocus Pocus 2. Oh, okay. I'll say that. <laughs> I gotta watch that. I didn't hear great uh, things about it, though. Yeah, I've, I know, like, like my cousins loved it, yeah. but, like, every, other people I know who were, like, real into Disney, real into Hocus, Hocus Pocus, they were not happy with I, it. I very intentionally, since it was announced, was like, okay, when it comes out, I'll watch it. I didn't watch a single trailer. I saw maybe, like, a clip that was on a YouTube video before, that I couldn't skip. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch it. But 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 Joe told me that it was terrible. Uh, but I'm still gonna watch well, it. I, I I'm trying something? to keep an open mind. Yeah, you can say something briefly. Can I say something about the trailer for the monsters? Yeah, because the movie just lifted my spirit. <laughs> Spirits. So I, when the trailer came out, of course, the first time round watching, I was like, uh, yeah. what? But 
I could not stop watching the trailer. <laughs> I watched it over and yeah. over. Watch every reaction, <laughs> yours specifically. Thanks. Okay. Over and over. And yeah, so let's yeah, let's get into <laughs> let's, it. Let's get into it. But actual movie. Real quick, um, I just want you guys to know this. Before I turn this movie on, my washing machine, my, my clothes washing machine broke. And then I had to cl clear a jam in the pipe. And then water shot out of it. And my kitchen started to flood. And I dealt with that for hours. And then 1 a.m. rolled around and I went, time to watch the Munsters. So now let's review the Munsters. So it starts off, Richard Brake and Jorge Garcia uh, break into a tomb to rob, uh, like, a, they, they go to grave rob, but mm -hmm. the coffin is empty mm -hmm. because it belongs to a really polite zombie who's the greatest pianist in the world. Well, you know, Richard Brake really wanted those uh, fingers. Yes, Richard, I uh, like Richard Brake. I met Richard Brake. Oh, you did? Yeah, he filmed a video with my old friend, ChokerFan279. Um, oh, no. Yep. Where's uh, that guy been, by the way? Too, too rough for YouTube. Okay. Uh, um, In Batman Begins, um, you killed Batman's parents. I did. Do you have any openings next weekend? I'd like something to happen to my stepfather. I'm free all weekend. Just give me a call. Okay. Yeah, missed that Should have worn my shirt. <laughs> um, Richard Brake, really funny guy. Uh, me and him, we're bros. We're both in Chris Nolan Batman movies. So. Right. He got a little bit more screen time than me because he killed Batman's parents. But, you know, we're like, other than that, we're equal. <laughs> so they killed this really polite zombie to yes. take his yeah, hammer to the head dead. But that yeah. was the title sequence. Did you like the zombie with the title of the monster? No. That was weird. No. With the drip drops. I well, mean, I, the that, that was actually The cool. animated graphic was fine, but like to and choose to put effects. it over like that zombie, it just, it didn't make sense. And the yeah. zombie didn't look that great. I, I, I mean, I get for, for plot, you know, purposes why they do this, but also like it's the monsters and the first thing you see is a character that's just throwaway that dies like a second later. That's maybe it's a reference to the show. I don't, why wouldn't you just do that with like Lily or grandpa? I agree. Like, I when know. grandpa comes out of the coffin and his back's fucked up. That would have oh, been really nice. Sorry, sorry. He's the count. He's oh, wow. not grandpa. Oh yeah, you're right. And he is count, count. According to that monsters episode, he is count Dracula. Okay. Because I think like- It's a funny it? twist on that character. Because what is it? Like Lester in the show, the Wolfman brother, I think his name is like Lester Dracula mm -hmm. and whatnot. Oh, right, because of his son, yeah. Because yeah. they have that weird thing where it's like they're vampires, but they can have kid werewolves, <laughs> hence Eddie. Yeah. So Daniel Roebuck, is that his name? Yeah. Who plays- uh, Grandpa, and oh, he's yeah, been in a bunch of other Rob Zombie he movies. Is in a, he, he was the strip club guy. Yeah, yeah who dresses like Herman, which we mentioned like and never Munster. talk about in that episode. And then the actor next to him is Herman Munster. Right, the guy gets his head stomped in by Tyler Mayne. Yeah. I watched a lot of interviews with Daniel Roebuck because yeah. I think he's very great. And he's I know funny. him from Quince character. and Disney Channel, yeah. Disney Channel movie Quince. But anyway, he said that he auditioned to be Herman back in the day. I think, what was that guy's name? Edward uh, uh, from Lost Boys. He, uh, he became Herman uh, Munster. Okay. What's his name? I can't remember. Oh, the guy that actually does play him. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Edward. I can't remember anyway. his name. Sorry, I forgot to write so it down. He said like that's how... God works like he's grandpa. I mean, the count now. Isn't yes. that nice? He, Such a he nice comes story. out of his coffin. Okay. No, that is nice. That is nice. <laughs> he comes out of his coffin and he's greeted by Igor, who's played by one of the Doctor Who's, a.k.a. the guy who was the horrible brown wizard in Hobbit, the Hobbit <laughs> movies. Radagast. They cut this character out of Lord of the Rings. I wouldn't know. And then Peter Jackson was like, well, I'm doing The Hobbit. I had to cut that character out. Let me put him in The Hobbit. And he's like, uh, okay, roll that one back for a fucking second. And the I, worst. I, am the, I hate The Hobbit trilogy, yeah. this, the movie, because it should have been two fucking movies and it's three. Mm. But let's not get it twisted, Tony. I, I'll argue with you on this one a little bit. Like, Peter Jackson was brought in at the zero fucking there's hour. That, that. The movie was basically ready to go. Like, he wasn't like, I'm going to bring out Radigas to fuck with Tony from Hack the Movies. Yeah, yeah. It was already there. It was I happening. I didn't want to look at a wizard with bird shit in his hair. And every time I see his face, I'm getting reminded of that. So okay. I didn't like seeing it. Okay. Although he's weird in this. I don't get his deal. He doesn't okay. act like any kind of Igor. Igor was not the hunchback, by the way. Do, do, do we all know that? Igor uh, well, was... no, they made Curly from fucking Lost, George Garcia. Yeah, yeah he's Curly, Lord. not Curly. <laughs> I said Curly. Did I say Curly? <laughs> Imagine said, if he was Curly, he had like shaved hair. Oh my God, he's throwing pies at people on the island. You know what the worst thing ever was? 
They made a Hurley Funko Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the time, my hair was long and it looked like me. People kept sending it to me. I'm uh, like, guys, I'm not that. I mean, more than the, a to be fair, one of the best characters in that show. So yeah, but I wasn't that it. heavy. Okay, yeah, <laughs> it did, fair. It did, if you look at a picture of me like from 2014 and look at this Funko Pop, it's like the exact okay. same thing. Anyway, um, yeah, so his back is broken. Igor is trying to fix him. Which, which is a thing that happened in the show a lot. Yes. His back goes uh, out. And he's excited because Lily is going on a date with Count Orlock. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, to himself for anyone that doesn't know his actual name. Yeah. Which is funny because it's Count Orlock is just Dracula. And wow. the Count is Dracula. Oh. So that's kind of funny that the perfect man for his daughter is a different version oh, of his right. character. That's pretty funny. I love it. That's pretty funny. This is also the first time you get an actor playing a second character. Which yeah, happened a Richard few times. Richard played Count Orlock. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. He's yes, so he, he didn't seem that tall. He I mean, Sherry Moon Zombie actually is I pretty tall. It. So yeah. I mean, okay. look, they, he's in all the scenes are pretty much with her. This gotcha. is one of the times where they like tried to cover up the fact that it was a different actor. They never mm. try that wow. again. Yeah, they never try that again. <laughs> yeah, uh. haters. Um, so I mean, it's. A, I mean, I'm not hating on that. I, I don't hate that concept. Right. I just think. One of those second characters in particular is very bad. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you think of their, their first date, Count Orlock and <laughs> Lily's first date? <laughs> their first date, oh my gosh. Well, he wasn't very, he wasn't a man on that date. Uh, he wasn't? Why? No. What, what should he have done differently? <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> What's the word that I'm trying to say? He didn't have great manners. Uh, no. He is a vampire. <laughs> Right. I thought the setup, though, where he took her, like, that's exactly where I would want to go on a date. <laughs> the, the mummy? I was, yes. I was a little disappointed by the mummies. You know me, I have high standards for mummies, so. He wasn't a cop, right? <laughs> they weren't cops. But, uh, yeah, so the intro for this scene is weird. There's mm -hmm. a, even Grandpa Munz, sorry, the Count. Like there's I'm these, calling him Grandpa. There's <laughs> these long, drawn-out music, like, where the music is overbearing yeah. and everything's moving in slow motion, and then the music will, like, stop. But like it's not like fun. Like Grandpa, at least he like his back gets thrown out. Yeah, that makes sense. And in that this scene. one, she's like going up to him like this. <laughs> you don't like that? And they're staring. But I was like, I was. Is it funny that she's just doing this? Yeah. Yes. I because then it, it just so stops, fun. and then she's like, Oh, Warlock. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. See, here, oh. I, I don't want to like put the cart before the horse here, and yeah. I don't want to be like an hour just complaining. Mm -hmm. But it's like I feel like there's two reasons why a lot of this doesn't work. One is what we do in the shadows is a thing, and it's been like very yeah. successful at doing comedy of this like monsters, like doing weird situations for like four or five years that, now. That is a like if you're writing like a vampire horror stuff, and what we do in the shadows exists. That's pretty uh, rough. That, that's a that's a lot of competition. And I'm not right saying there. that's what Rob was trying to do here. No. Obviously, he's trying to do the monsters, but there's that. And the second thing is, and that that dinner scene is the first time it started to really bother me. And by the end, they they kind of actually stopped doing it, which I was thankful for. But they they do jokes. Yeah, but instead of just letting the joke lie and letting the audience like get it, like there's a scene in that in that dinner scene where they're they're talking about oh this waiter's so slow, and then Lily's like looking around the room and she sees like two skeletons. She's like, how yeah. long have they been waiting? <laughs> That's the joke. Yeah. But instead we have to have this like stupid line where then Orox's like, oh I think they're dead. Seems like they've been waiting a while. Oh, they are dead. Yeah, no fuck. That, that, yeah, I don't they, need the joke spelled out those. for me. I think this is my type of humor, though. I love quirky, like, kids' films. No, no, no. Yeah. I thought that was fine. It just, ah! oh my God, That's what you back. get for calling him the count. He dove his off back. the counter. His back. back. Hold on. Okay, he's good now. <laughs> he saw what happened to the Hulk and Xavier and all those Spider-Man. He was trying to imitate it. He got a little uh, overzealous. You know what? Funny you mentioned that, Sean. <laughs> Because I invited Butch Patrick, and he's coming in right now. I'm kidding. We're not doing that guy. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> Butch Patrick. Where do you want me to jump, Mr. Paluzzo? <laughs> um, but, yeah, but yeah that, that was just something that bothered me It would have been funnier if he had not said they're dead. Because, like, we got it. It was, like, a yeah. fun sight gag. Because, like, I'll, I'll give you this. Like, this movie's very corny, and I think it knows that it's corny, especially Herman. And I think eventually Herman does get kind of funny, but there's just, it takes too long for that you know, for that to happen for me. Yeah. yeah. You'll see well, why as we get further into it. I one. will say, I didn't realize this until the end, but like him talking about his rats and how much he loves them, it is a setup. It is a pretty funny. It is a setup. Uh, there is a really funny payoff that visual, you have to look for yeah. toward the end. I don't know if you caught it, but it's really funny. But yeah, he's talking about his rats and how much he loves them. You just talk about it. You didn't really remember that by <laughs> no, the no, end. No, no, we'll get, we'll get to okay, it Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, she's not impressed with her date. Because no. he's like eating like rats, I, and then he does like that weird like sexual like dance in front of like his his apartment. Oh yeah, yeah he immediately th wants to. If there's the doors a knock and disco don't come a knock, yeah. disco. The music had to go disco vampire. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and, and listen, I, I I don't think Sherry Moon Zombie is a very good actress. I don't even know what the fuck impression she's trying to do in this movie. But like that scene was kind of funny where like her reaction to him, I think she kind of pulled off the facial expression of like, I'm going to go. Like, I'm that out. Was yeah. Okay. yeah. That was good. Yeah. I don't think the music needed disco vampire. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's but like. Fun. And look, you know what? It was, it's not the worst first date. I, I've I had worse I... first dates than that. <laughs> but it That's wasn't. scary, actually. But yeah, so she bails. I thought she was the weakest of. Yeah, the crew. okay, yeah. So I watched, like I said, I watched oh, yeah. two episodes. None of them really feel like the characters, but she is way off the mark. Like She really is. And it, I don't know why she made that choice, but she did remind me. I used to do princess parties <laughs> and she reminded me of how we would act. Uh, the yeah. kids like over the top acting. And there's times where it works with her, I think, like yeah. especially when she's like, <gasps> like for Herman and everything. <laughs> oh, but yeah. I don't I, know. It was too much for me. She does this with her hands all the time. And it's like, I, you know, watching some of those old episodes or like clips like. Lily does some of that, yeah. but it's yeah. not like literally every every natural. sentence out of her fucking yeah, mouth. Yeah, it just it was. And look, and I'm gonna yell at him. And for she's trying to do like and everything, but like it was a little. Or she was off. She's the trying to do like that voice, and it's like okay, I guess like Lily kind of sounds like that, but like Herman and Grandpa are also like paying homages to the voices, but it does, it's not annoying. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing though. I couldn't see him cast anyone other than Sherry Moon's yeah. I really couldn't picture anyone other than her. What about being... the other girls in his movies? What about Scout? No, it had to be Sherry Moon. It this couldn't... is a love letter to their marriage. I'm telling you. Oh man. Are they getting divorced? <laughs> no. <laughs> Haven't you watched the movie? <laughs> what do you mean? Howard, Howard Stern made a love letter to his wife. We reviewed private it. Parts. Private parts. Uh, they're no longer married. Well, she found that wet underwear in his car, Tony. That was the end of that. I was married to. Look at God, Howard Stern is. Watch my friend Carl's yeah, show. Yeah. They covered Howard Stern. Don't recently. bring him into this. No, we're getting so, too into the weeds here. He's friends with Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie's. Uh, he's used Rob Zombie's song as a sign off for like Good. 20 something years now. <laughs> take it back. You better take it back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. while this was happening, uh, Zoya and Bela. Pretty funny reference to yeah, the Wolfman, because okay. uh, it was the gypsy woman with her son Bela. Right. Bela Lugosi. and it's also again like poking fun at just monster movies yeah. with the werewolf. They, or they wolf put man. a spell on a werewolf to bring him there, and it's Lester Mon uh, Lester Dracula. Yes, right. Well, right. Uh, that was the only part I thought was cheesy, but I like yeah. it. I like that. But <laughs> I, I get some of the cheese. It yeah. She wasn't a cameo, right? Of anything. Uh, she. I think she's just an actor. Yeah, she just, been, she was in a lot of that kind of stuff back in the day, but okay. I, I don't remember specifically what. Um. But yeah. Uh, they, she basically wants the deed to the monster's mansion. Mm. I'm sorry, Grandpa's mansion. Uh, so now Lester, he has to like figure out a way. Like he calls Grandpa His castle. Up. Huh? His castle. His castle. That's Doesn't true. it look they, like they call the Disney castle? Oh, it really, a little like, bit. Now that you mention it. the shots leading up to it, it's exactly like Disneyland's castle. I mean, they had to they had to make it look more, uh, I guess, well, magnificent is for lack of a better term compared to 1313 Mockingbird Lane that we don't get told the end. I will say, like, this looks like it was, you know, you were just at Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Did they use any of these sets? Because this looks like mm. something. It looks like they got like, like, and look, I, I said, oh, I say somewhere in my notes, I am guilty of filming at a haunted <laughs> attraction. This feels like they filmed at a haunted attraction. Let me take out my notes. <laughs> oh, man. This is mine. I feel like they were like Universal. What do you have? They're like, oh, we got some mad scientist sets over here. I feel as if they didn't skimp out on the big set pieces. Yeah. But and then the CGI was for like the little things, just like adding the little mice, like going yeah. around and everything. No, I was fine with that. I loved it. The scope I, was amazing. I'm just saying the sets, and I know they yeah. wanted to look like a TV show, but it looks like, like I feel like the sets weren't built. I think Universal was like, we have something here you could use. Did we they film on Universal? I, it's a Universal I know the movie. I don't know. It's a universal movie. Can I say a story? Sure. So I went to the New York Film Academy and we filmed on the universal lot. Yeah. And you know, the monsters live like right next to the leave it to beaver house and stuff. Yeah. So I had to go of to course. the bathroom and the only bath, the only set that's still there that um, had a bathroom was a leave it to beaver house. So I went to the bathroom there. Did you say had a ward? No. Did the bathroom work? Yes. That's oh, so the only real... working bathroom. Oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, There's a house on this street that looks like the monster's house. Oh, really? Oh, There's yeah. I think, that, that was I think the that's apartment. the one a car fucking... <laughs> my old apartment. Yes. I was going to say, I think that's the one the car drove into last year during that fucking flood. 
It's not. No, I think that, yeah, yeah. that was a different one. It did flood really bad. Uh, but, but I agree with both of you, actually, because, like, it, they're, some of the sets, they look very well put together, and I think some of that is the lighting, and I will say the lighting in this movie is really incredible. Yeah, the lighting's good. Um, Which I think enhances a lot of those sets. But I don't I, mind the colors, either. I, I, I could see a mix of stuff they had already and stuff they're like, all right, well, this doesn't make any sense without building something, but, yeah. It's, yeah. It, it, it's hard to put a finger on. Like, a lot of the stuff in the castle just looks like they just threw a bunch yeah, of oh, yeah. stuff around. Uh, but then they watch uh, TV. Uh, Grandpa watches... I'm going to call him Grandpa. Fuck it. He yeah. watches <laughs> TV, <laughs> uh, and he finds out about these two brothers who died. One was a terrible comedian. The other one was, like, the smartest, second smartest man in the world. Well, but, well right. Mm -hmm. Behind Richard Brake. It's actually, I think, Richard Brake Richard Brake says it. he's the first, but it's being uh, announced by an anchor woman, which is Sherry oh. Moon. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. I'm the Debbie. whole time, I'm like, who is that? She I'm looks Debbie so familiar. Duma. This, honestly. I Googled it. I'm like, is this a character from the show? I'm like, no, this seems like it's a completely you original You guys are guy. good. I'm glad. I'm getting like you, How could you here. not tell? I, <laughs> was, uh, I, I, I actually couldn't tell, but <laughs> when I looked it up, I was like, oh, obviously. This isn't. On its own, separated from the rest of this film, this is the worst fucking scene in the movie. <laughs> it's but there are things that happen with the monsters mm -hmm. that I think actually supersede that because it's monster stuff. But yeah. like, what the? I, I get the joke. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Back in the day when they used to have like newscasters on these old shows, it was always kind of played up as a bit. Yeah, it was it was over the top cheesy. Mm. Okay, what's with the buck teeth and the screaming and this weird caricature you're doing? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I have a note. Yes. I don't know if I should save it for later, so I'm going to say it now, though. Okay. Why is it in color and then his sequence when they introduce Herman is black and white? That I wanted. That is a good question. Uh, that's a good point. I, I, I really that. should have looked that up. I don't know. Because it annoyed me the second time <laughs> I watched it. Because they are kind of a little all over the place with the TV. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are. Uh, so they're about to bring him back to life. Oh, well, then, you know... Floop, I think he's called the Igor character. Yeah. He's eating a Who fucking. Who is not Igor? Uh, he, the Igor well, character, but whatever. You're right. Yeah, yeah. He, Floop. He's like eating a fucking uh, a cheese sandwich, and he's like, "What are you gonna name this thing?" And he's like, "Well, well before I that, never really thought about it." Before that, remember there were two brothers. One has a good. Oh, brain, right, one yeah, has a bad. Brain, he's got to steal the brain like, first. All right, that's the original Frank. Like I get it, but it's like young Frankenstein. Like really, like it's hard to top that one. But okay, mm. I'll All let right. it slide. But yeah, he's like, what are you going to name? He's like Herman. Herman Munster. Herman. Like the cheese. Because it's Herman. Yeah. <laughs> and Munster like the cheese. I love how Richard Ray gets all pissed. And this is actually one of the better running jokes, I think, in the movie where people keep thinking they're saying monster. Yeah. No, monster. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> all right. Well, he wants to name him Uranus. Oh, yeah. that's Which And he's like, yeah, you're setting him up for a lifetime of trouble. <laughs> well, the smartest person in the world should know it's pronounced Uranus, but whatever. I guess he's not that smart. Well, the kids in school aren't going to know that. <laughs> <laughs> when, when they're dealing with seven foot tall Herman. And, and here we go. So we had uh, slow motion with overbearing music. And now we have <laughs> wacky faces and loud noises when they're bringing Herman to life. And it's just kind of. <laughs> kind of like that. I actually. thought that set piece was extravagant. <laughs> Don't you agree? The lights. Yeah, that looked like, cool. The amount of detail it, you put into this movie. It looked it better looked cool. than Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. At least it was enga <laughs> it was engaging. I Wait, suppose. Wait, you mean you mean you didn't like that there wasn't a, a sarcophagus of pl a placenta? <laughs> like I, I mean, uh, on one hand, no, but also like it would have been kind of funny to see Richard Brake and George Garcia trying to like hold up fucking uh, Herman slipping what if all Richard over. Richard Brake got shirtless like Kenneth Branagh and <laughs> screamed on top of the thing. I'll finally find out if he has a Go third nipple or not. Go back and watch our Frank, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein episode. It's yeah. pretty good. Um, yeah, so they bring Herman to life uh, and they're going to put him on a TV show. What was the TV show? Like Zaffo's something? Offensive Jewish stereotype? <laughs> it, was, it was a little with the big nose. Like, I mean, I, I, guess, I guess the main guy, uh, what, what do we say his name is? Daniel Roebuck. Daniel Roebuck. I, I, I'm assuming he's Jewish. No, I, was, I don't think so. I, no. I don't know. They go. I mean, I don't. I don't really care. I'm not. It's just kind of funny that they give the very Jewish guy with a very big nose. And it's yeah. like, all right. I okay. was more upset that they didn't like. Like it's clearly him. They didn't even try to hide it. Yeah. They didn't want to hide it. Yeah, but then I guess because he's in so much makeup as Grandpa. Yeah. But like, I don't get the joke if they uh -huh. didn't want to hide. Like Richard Brake, they did a good job hiding him. Yeah. And then they don't do that for well, Sherry yeah. Moon. They don't do it for Daniel Rowe. No, Sherry Moon, I, I had they, no idea that was her. They at least try with Sherry Moon. But but this guy, it's like, if you know what he looks like. It's like, like clearly him. And then he's mm. watching himself. It's weird. It's all part of the fun. But it her, works later in the Herman movie. Herman does that later that. watching himself, that, that one works, yeah. but I'll, I'll explain why. But yeah, 
So uh, Herman comes to life. He's uh, unveiled on TV, and Lily is automatically in love with him. Hearts are behind. He's smitten. That was my favorite part, the hearts. I loved how they all had yeah, their background that, like that. Even when they brought Herman to life, those that, backgrounds. That stuff's good. I mean, I like yeah. that stuff. I'm that reminds me of, like, what do they say? Like, EC Comics and, like, Creep Show does a lot oh, creep, of those I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. where it cuts to, like, cutaways and stuff. Talk, <laughs> talk about talking about Joe's head exploding. If you said that compared to the monsters, I think he's at home melting right oh, now. I'm not saying it's as good as Creep Show. Oh, I get what you're saying. Creep Show did similar yeah. things. Yeah, no, 100%. But Sherry Moon Zombie, she posted a still of yeah. that, like, on her Instagram, and I couldn't wait to see what that was hmm. going to be. Does that does that happen to you? Do you sit there like this and the heart show up behind you? It's exactly me. I identified with her so much. Everything she said. I'm a spooky babe, just like her. So so if I look up the news and it says there's a woman stealing green corpses, I'll be like, well, Ew, <laughs> not for corpses, just in general. Well, she did it for she did it for Herman. True, true. Just in general. But I love how Herman, he's on the show and he's still all in the bandages, but you just see yeah. his face. Yeah. And like they do like the gag where First, he's not talking, and they're, yeah. like, confused. Then he's, like... He can't play the piano. He's oh, like, but, but he's got those perfect fingers. Yeah, what the heck? But he doesn't have the brain, I guess. Uh, yeah, and yeah. it's in black and white. Yes. Yes. And, and then he starts doing his bad stand-up, like the guy who died, because <laughs> the but, brains but got swapped. for some reason. And it's, like, jokes that you can look up on Google. Like, one of them is literally the horse with the long face joke. Yeah, right. A horse walks into the bar. The bartender says... It's all part of the fun. I, I, I guess <laughs> I don't know. The, the goof is that now Richard Brake can't believe that this moron has the brain and he's like, he's yeah. distraught while everyone's clapping. And, and he, like, he this puts, guy's great. He puts himself in exile. But it's not like the jokes should have been like worse or really good. Instead, they just picked like easy jokes and I wasn't sure. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I mean, mm -hmm. all right. While Harmon's like, <laughs> <laughs> he could do the laugh. He does do the I'll laugh. Give it up to him. Yeah. He can do the he laugh. Nails it. He does it a lot. He does I, it a I lot. I think he's a good Herman. I mean, you're not going to hold a candle to Fred Gwynn, but I think he does a good job. I'm so happy okay. he was cast, too. Well. I, as I, Herman. Again, I don't think the material matches the acting. I think the acting is better than yeah. the material. But. Um, so, yeah, he goes into uh, exile, uh, and he starts a band. He's now a punk rocker. Well, let's clarify. Richard Richard Brake goes into exile yes. to join then, a leper colony for no reason. But And then Herman starts a band with two zombies he met, I guess. Yeah. And the doorman is Tin Can Man, who is from the show and voiced by Butch Patrick. Right. Yes. Uh, so yeah, he's a punk rocker, and uh, Lily's like, I gotta see this guy. Which, which which is definitely like some of Zombie trying to get those references from the old show in there, because there's definitely an episode where Herman does that. Yeah. Also, Count Orlock is in the club watching the same no, show. I know. <laughs> and I'm like, was there like a scene they cut out of them like talking to each other? He goes out yeah. and parties. He tells no, them, he goes out and parties. So it's a small town. Yeah, Count Orlock, he gets around. He goes out to party. He goes to the Krusty Krab, as we all know. I mean, realistically. And now Jessica's going to put the clip in here because she's obsessed with SpongeBob. Nosferatu. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say that, like, yeah, he takes all his his dates to that dinner place. Oh, yeah. Well, he still is a vampire. He's got to eat more than just that fucking dead whatever <laughs> that he was yeah. eating. But, like, I'm just thinking about that. Obviously, he goes to, like, the EDM concerts to pick up chicks because they're easy pickings. Yeah. They're so wasted. Mm. You know, he gets the men, too. Now, let's not, you know, he doesn't care. He takes either or. It's just blood is blood, you know? Yeah. So, obviously, he's hanging out, dancing, just waiting for somebody to drop. <laughs> easy victim. But then uh, Lily runs into her brother. And he's like, Herman's over there. Go there. And I actually did like this scene. This scene worked where she's like, I wanted to know if I could go on a date. And he's like, oh, I got to check my schedule. Every time he shuts the door, oh, you yeah. hear how excited it's he is. It's the best scene. <laughs> he opened, first, it's like a small book. And he's like, well, I, I think I have an opening. Let me check it's again. So he's like, damn, he's got an even bigger book. Uh, yeah, and this is, this <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> one of the few scenes where I feel like Sherry Moon actually does Lily pretty good with the reactions of like her kind of hearing him behind the door. But like, ooh. Ooh, and it's like, all right, that kind of felt like Lily still too, still over the top, but yeah. kind of felt like it. But I love the Herbie's got a date. Yeah. It's like real it's so cute. But the thing with her brother is like a weird B plot that we kind of come back to a couple times where it's like, yeah, he's going to that fortune teller and she like wants all this money that he owes her. Yeah. And she's like, I'm going to cut your fucking hand off if you don't give me that, <laughs> that castle. And he's like, Oh, 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 Lily? Yeah, Herman's that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, oh, you got any money? I'm a little light. It's like, all right. So. So they prepare for their date. <laughs> if Herman goes and gets like some lilies. Yeah. Her name's Lily, so lilies. Yeah. And then he's dressed like a pimp. 
Well, yeah, oh, at before first, that. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got he the record album that looks exactly like the face. He's really like, yeah. He eventually <laughs> settles on the fur vest, which reminds me of Son of Frankenstein, where boys call off for a fur vest. Yes. But then she's uh, looking yeah. to get dressed. Ghost, ghost, of, ghost of Frankenstein. Are you sure it wasn't Son? It's Ghost. All right. Fact check me. Uh, it might be Ghost. You might be right. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think. No, it might be Son. Either way, whoever's right will get the edit. <laughs> you might actually have been right. I'm sorry. There is one called Ghost. They're, they're like back to back. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Bella Lugosi's in both. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, Sherry Moon is getting dressed. Mm -hmm. She's trying to pick out a dress and then like Igor is like, his brain is breaking. What was going on there? Did you get it? Is Igor supposed to be like a zombie? I'm not, I'm not really clear on he, Igor's situation. She's like, what do you think of this dress? And he's like, oh. oh, oh. Well, like, I think it's because she's wearing like see-through satin. And it's like, oh my God, she's so attractive. I can't function. It wasn't yeah, that, it wasn't I think that it was revealing. Like that. No, but I'm saying I think that's the joke. Yeah. Oh, that didn't read. That didn't read at all. Honestly, that I don't, was the joke. He was afraid to look at her. I, I don't even down. honestly. That's what I think it was. I don't even honestly remember the scene other than that she's wearing a different outfit and it's supposed to be like pajamas. I don't remember that at all, but I'll take your yeah, word for it. Yeah, she's got like pantaloons on mm -hmm. and like a t-shirt and that's Making why. a perfect outfit. So, so, I mean, yeah. how often is this guy seeing any tail? <laughs> that's true. He's working for the count who's obviously doesn't, hasn't given a shit probably in like a good 50 or 60 years. <laughs> at least 100 because I think Lily said she's well, 100 you know, at, at some the point. Movie, he's for, he forgets who he's married before. Uh, um, well, that, well, I mean, you're 300 years old. You forget yeah. a lot of stuff. So the count hates Herman. I know. Right away. Like he's yelling at him from the top of the castle. They're yelling. That part's kind of okay. I feel like this concept, I, I like. I don't hate the idea of just kind of doing the opposite of the show. Like, yeah, they butt heads occasionally, but they're always scheming on the show. Yeah. And it's like, eventually, again, like, not to jump too far ahead, but like, we get there eventually, but it's like, okay, he doesn't like him. It's like the most low hanging fruit stereotype I mean, that's, of that's like, realistic. oh, I hate the guy that my daughter's dating. There's been dads. Yeah, no dad's going to approve of whoever sure. someone's with. Like, like, right away, eventually. Yeah. Be like, you know. Even he's down the line. Or sometimes they never like you. He's also a to me many times. Uh, well, but sometimes they do like Don't you. take it personally. It's a bad <laughs> thing. <laughs> I was going to say, though, he also is extra miffed because of the Orlock thing. They don't work out and Orlock's loaded. Orlock rich, yeah. Herman's literally like just brought to life, doesn't have a penny to his name. Oh, great. <laughs> apparently he's making bank on these these uh, albums he's selling, but <laughs> yeah. no, not kind of not the Orlock kind of money. And he got the O negative blood. Is that just really rare? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. rare. Oh, I'm O positive. That's o good. negative is, was it O positive or no negative where you're a universal donor? I'd have to or check. Or is it just O in general? What? I think I'd have to check my driver's license. Sorry, sorry. I really don't know. I, I'm not Japanese. It's not something I just know off the top of my Jessica, head. Jessica, Jessica, look up O blood type and let me know if they're a universal donor. I think O blood type. Is it's either that or AB. It's one or the other. Well, it, I think it's rare. That's why he gets that wine. Or he doesn't. Yes. He splurges. Yes. 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 And well, I love how it's like <laughs> the best blood because it's universal. I, you, oh, but I do love when he Cheers. when he when he goes there and he gives grandpa the blood and grandpa's like, yeah, whatever. And then you see him at the dinner, like sucking it down, like to the last <laughs> drop. But he keeps like slapping him on the back so he can't drink it all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but he has like that joke uh, that one of the better jokes Herman's has where he's like, oh, how do you leave a 400 uh, year old uh, cranky, uh, angry uh, vampire. vampire in, in uh, suspense? suspense? And he's just like. <laughs> It's like, all right, that was pretty funny. Was that, pretty and funny. the gag is he just doesn't tell him the the, the punchline. Yeah. And, and he's just, oh, oh, like slamming the table, <laughs> all the dust flying all over. Uh, but yeah, then they do a Sunny and Cher montage. Mm -hmm. This is did horrible. They, did this one work for you too? <laughs> it's all part of the fun. <laughs> it was a little weird. I get, what, he, I get what he's going for. A modern for. movie. I was like, all right, that was a little. But it's like dated. spliced in between him, them going to visit the creature from the Black Lagoon, which is <laughs> their Uncle, Uncle Gilbert, Gilbert, which I think is kind of funny when they're actually watching Creature of the Black Lagoon from yeah, the Black Lagoon. That was pretty funny. With him being the creature, of course, that <laughs> Again, was pretty it's a good. Universal movie, they have the right. They're watching Universal movies all throughout this because yeah. that's the catalog they had that's access so to. Cool. Uh, that's when they also go to Paris. Yeah, they mm -hmm. go to Paris. Um, oh wait, no, no, not yet, not yet. Oh, that's after they, they get married. They get I'm sorry. Here at the right. beach, they get engaged, and she says yes. Uh, and this is happening the same time the Count is looking for a husband spell. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like that they get him doing the potions. They have that yes. in there. Uh, in between that Richard Brake is back. Who cares? Uh, yeah, covered in, in leprosy and scars. In like, and it's yeah. just like very low key. Like, wow, that's fucked up. Yeah. Uh, but the Count spell backfires and he, he makes a tap dancing ape man. What? What? Okay. All right. What went wrong? Like that was the perfect husband because he got one potion wrong. 
One ingredient wrong. He made a tap dancing uh, ape man. Again, trying to show some love to the original show. That's a thing that would happen. Grandpa fucks up his potion. I guess. Okay. Didn't really work for me in this, though. Did it work for you? Did you laugh at that one? I loved all. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, Casey. <laughs> I gave it four and a half out of five stars. Oh, my God. I, I definitely, at that scene with the chimp, was like, I couldn't believe what was happening. I, I didn't like, I wasn't upset. I was just like, all right, yeah, that's a thing that could happen. Um. So yeah, Lester tricks Herman into signing over the castle. Right, literally him. on his wedding day. And then he gets too shit-faced to actually show up at the wedding. I thought that yeah, was really yeah. funny. Uh, I like that Lily, it was shitty in the trailer, but in context of the movie where she electrocutes Grandpa before he can object. Oh yeah, that was, that was pretty right. good. So good. That's kind of, the effect is still kind of cheesy, but I'm like, the joke is funny. And she looked amazing. Yeah, yeah, she looked wedding, yeah, she looked in the wedding dress. But like I like the the joke too there where when Herman does sign the contract with this like horrible like handwriting. Which yeah. you see later it's like says Herman with like a smiley face or like a heart <laughs> or something. But like he's like in the uh the the, the stagecoach or whatever, the, yeah. the Dragula, let's say. That's not the Dragula. Ah, That's yeah. not the coach either. It's, it's the car. Yeah. I'm just making some references. Other car. Does it ever show up in the movie? No. I don't it's think so it does. No, the Dracula and whatnot don't show up as far as I he can does, They buy it on the show and then it's like a staple, but oh, yeah. maybe if they ever make a second one. Uh, I'm sure they were planning that for the uh, sequel. <laughs> uh, where the hell was I going with that? Uh, oh, you're right. Yeah. So like then they're driving down like with the just married and everything. Mm -hmm. And then like they do this thing again. It, I don't want to like say this every time, but it, it does help to say that it is kind of like the show where yeah. Herman doesn't want to admit what he just did because he thinks he's like, actually helping them oh, but he doesn't yeah. want lily to find out because he thinks like she'll take it the wrong way but honestly like he just fucked them over royally so it's like herman like oh don't worry about it because lester runs up yeah. to him drunk like ah oh, sorry i missed it and he's like oh great to be business partners and he's like, mm -hmm. he's like i don't know what he's talking about he's yeah. crazy i'm not a business partner Which, he red did flag. that almost every damn episode of <laughs> the monsters it was a red oh, flag no. for me <laughs> <laughs> I do like Lily's like I would I would hate her I would have thrown my life away if I married yeah. someone I, uh, that like that mother. was good He's like uh, slam cut to Lester giving the contract to Zoya and yeah. she's like thanks here's your cut and it's like a couple of bills <laughs> after the, yeah after their takeaway yeah. um yeah so they go to Paris for their honeymoon but when I typed this last night while I was like half dead. I, I accidentally put homecoming, so oops. Oh, you but, had Halloween homecoming on the mind, yeah. obviously. But they went to Paris for their honeymoon. Mm. Um, yeah, and they're hanging around. He they gets get, a beret. He gets a beret. To, uh, to cover his flathead. They, they go to she a, loves his flathead. She, she brings that up yeah. constantly. Yeah. They go to a restaurant, and then like Daniel Roebuck's there, like yeah. front and center. I'm like, okay, is this a new character is grandpa is you really gonna, thought this way and i'm like is grandpa it's, gonna be in but because every other time they showed him he's been a character nah, yeah. who does something now he's a background extra i'm like that's that's a distracting background extra that I, doesn't work i do wonder if any of that was because of covid like because they did film a lot of the storing that like if they're like oh well, we need some extras and uh we're down one daniel you want to sit there <laughs> It was all on purpose. I don't know. It was distracting. It was all on though. purpose. It was I so know distracting. it. I do like the mime though. I love. I love the mime. Yeah. Of mime course, was does fine. The, the yells because of course it's a mime. That They're was not fine. supposed to. That was fine. <laughs> and this is the first we get of them being in the real world, basically. Which is what I wanted like, the whole movie. Now we're at, like is, an which hour is ten like that in. Joke of monsters. It's like yeah. here's these crazy characters interacting with the world, but like. The, the whole fish out of water stuff comes a little too late in this yeah. movie. Which which is almost like a double fish out of water. because her It's a fish out of water because they're the monsters, but it's also because Herman's so new to life. He yeah. doesn't understand the world. Yeah, but they uh, they go into the sewer and they find their pet dragon. Spot. A baby. Spot. Yeah. Spot is a baby who is a uh, practical effect but has a CGI tail. Fine. <laughs> It, totally it, it looks fine for a Netflix movie. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the Count ruins their honeymoon and he lets them know that they're evicted. And her nightgown, might I just say, it had like a bat on it, Ooh. but that's her necklace oh. in the show. Yeah, it's right but there. now it's like a part okay. of the outfit. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Yeah, when Herman's wearing those like bad pajamas yeah. watching Woody Woodpecker and, yeah. and they have that gag where uh, he grabs the wine from Grandpa because he thinks it's like the bellhop that and he cool. shuts the door <laughs> in his face. That was kind of That funny. was good. Um, but yeah, they what a uh, buzzkill for him to show up on their honeymoon. Yeah, they didn't even get it down and dirty yet. They were I about know. to. <laughs> I'm ready, Herman. Imagine if she came out <laughs> buck fucking naked. <laughs> this is a kids' movie. I was surprised to see it was wow. rated PG. Yeah, that was another thing. I was like, you know what? Good for him for getting yeah. out of his comfort zone. That, I like it. He's that's doing true. Romantic, romantic comedy, PG. That's pretty good. I don't know if they'll have any kids. 
but this is perfect to show his kids. <laughs> oh, well, oh, you mean actual Rob Zombie? I thought yes. you mean Eddie. Eddie was gonna finally come along, but no. <laughs> I was Should like, I say it now? I, I'll receive it. We're, we're, we're almost it's there. Okay. Something after the movie. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, rem I'll remember to ask you. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, Herman. This I kind of like. Mm -hmm. This is a case of two actors because it's funny because they have to figure out where they're gonna go. And there's this guy on TV. It's the same actor as Herman. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I'm a stud, blah, 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 blah. And then Herman's like, we can go to Hollywood. I'm way better looking than that guy. And I'm like, all right, that's funny because it's the same guy. Well, like I'll that that's one where like the double casting actually works. Yeah, but again, let's let's not forget the major detail there where he's basically like a, a Sven Gulli type yeah, character. That's why Herman's like, oh, I could do that. That's <laughs> one of his actual characters that that really? uh, actor has done in the Zabo? Past. Or whatever the hell whatever it's called. Whatever it is, yeah. yes. What, what else did he do that in? I just saw it on his Instagram. Oh. <laughs> like, way back. It I, appears in other of Rob Zombie's movies, I feel. So okay. Ha Halloween 2? Because he plays yes. two characters in Halloween 2. Yeah, he's, it's in that one, too. Okay, so oh. that's the guy at the Halloween party. Yeah, yeah like, okay. Uh, but he's done other skits of that. Okay, like, okay. I could past. see that. I mean, people doing, like, kind of yeah. a riff on your horror host or mm -hmm. whatever. I could see it. So is this in continuity at Rob Zombie's Halloween? That's a yeah, weird... is it modern? This, do you think this is set in modern modern times? It doesn't look. Did like they that. use okay. Michael Myers' body parts for Herman? Is that what happened? <laughs> I guess so. They uh, mixed up, you know, that when that boot came down on that guy's head, somehow some of that got mixed yeah. up on the face. I don't no, know. No, because I think it is like fit, like sixties, because all the technology is pretty. Even when they get to America, it still it, looks pretty old. Yeah. That's what I think, but it definitely is one of those movies where they like keep it very ambiguous, especially like yeah. the music kind of makes you think it's not sixties. Yeah. Sorry, you, you raised finished. your hand. Well, I, I think it actually is 2022 or 2021, somewhere in that in that time period. But they definitely lean heavy into like the 60s attire, especially like at the end when they yeah. see like what their neighbors really look like. Yeah. But I think it's really just for comedic effect. So what were you saying? Because I forgot in the date scene, she says, I saw on your profile. Yeah. Uh, so that confused me. Okay. It could just be one of those. It's like ambiguous. Yeah, yeah, but they definitely, I get what you're saying though, it's Tony. It's like, like the Batman animated series. It's like, it's the 40s, but they have high-tech computers. Yeah, it's whatever. I, it's all over the place. I, I always think of, I mean, a million movies have done it, but the movie It Follows yes. uh, did that, where it was like, oh, this could be the 80s, this could be the 2000s. But that's also like, that movie like apparently takes place in like a dream. That's why some things like don't Oh, don't really, really no. makes sense because she's got a mirror, but it looks like a Palm Pilot thing. Man, that's well, that thing. that's the setup, the whole thing that it could take place whenever. But yeah, that's a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. in Detroit. <laughs> there's a beach in Detroit. Detroit? It's in Detroit. <laughs> there's yeah, there's a beach in Detroit. I guess they drive pretty far to get away from the it's fucking from monster, but, but but we're digressing pretty heavy. <laughs> anyway, now. anyway, it's a good movie um, though. Check it out if you haven't seen it. <laughs> so yeah, they decide to go to Hollywood. Uh, and they do, and the... I wonder what the flight... I, I didn't look that up, but from Transylvania to Hollywood, what is the flight uh, uh, expense on that oh one? Oh, God, I don't know. But they, they turn Igor into a bat. You were telling me the bat was a character yep. in the show? Mm -hmm. I don't Igor, remember. his pet. That was Our grandpa's thing? pet or whatever. They, he always talked to him, and he'd just like be talking in bat voices, when I and, and he would respond, Oh, Igor! Rah. When I was rewatching the show, I don't think I watched the Igor episode. So uh, that that one went over my it, head. I should have watched it. It's usually the when he's in, usually. in, yeah, like yeah. when he's in the lab is when he usually will show up. Okay. I Maybe mean, I just missed. So that reference was lost, but that's for me yeah. not being up He's, he's kind of like Spot, where like he's not in every episode, but yeah. he is in it fairly consistently. Uh, but okay, call back to a joke. I don't know if you caught this, <laughs> but uh, when they're getting, before they leave, and they're like calling Cassandra Peterson, Elvira. Uh, what's his face has a newspaper, and on the front of the newspaper, oh, yes. it says Count Orlock mauled by his pet rats. <laughs> well, like, wow. All right, that's kind army of, of rats, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny that he set up how much he loved rats and then he gets eaten by them. Like, all right, yeah, yeah. That's, that was clever. Yeah. I was like, caught on to that. I'm like, okay, especially that if you're gonna, got especially me. if you're gonna send a minute of, of the beginning of the movie of him showing uh, uh, Lily the fucking photos of the rats. <laughs> yeah, our humor is very different. <laughs> the jokes I that, that you funny. found funny. I like that little little sight gag there. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, that was good. It was I, a I set up and a payoff. Cackled okay. at that. Um, yeah, so they get sold a house by. Oh, but I, I do want to say oh. one other joke because I think it's funny how quickly Grandpa's fucking uh, situation changes and his whole demeanor changes. Oh yeah, because <laughs> he's, he's trying he's to broke. act. He's trying to cock shit the whole movie. Then he gets the letter from Zoya, which was his ex-wife, that she has his castle now, mm. and that's why they have to move to America. But he is just trying to be like. 
in charge. No one's going to do anything against my will. He doesn't say that, but that's how he comes across. And then Herman's like, we're moving to America. You're only getting a box. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Igor, I'll turn you into a bat so I can take you with me. And he's like all of a sudden submissive to Herman. And it's like, I kind of like that. that but it's like, funny. also, wow, we finally got Grandpa at an hour and 20 this minutes the into the movie. This is the first time someone's bumped someone else's mic. <laughs> I got to go for it. It's I was almost, trying to ignore it. Everyone always bumps their own mic. That's a first. Uh, anyway, keep going. My Italian, my 1% Italian is coming out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, 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 again, like not to like repeat myself yeah. or to like talk in circles here, but I feel like that was the point in the movie where I was finally like, wow, this feels like the monsters and it was almost over. <laughs> yeah. That it was point. for me at least. I was yeah, like, Grandpa no, finally like feels too. like Grandpa. Like, All right, now it feels like the show. Because then they start scheming. They're like trying to figure out what the hell are they going to do. And that was like my fondest memories of the show. Yeah. Which maybe some of that's on me, but, but yeah, uh, Herman gets hammered on Shirley Temple's. <laughs> that was a pretty funny gag because if yeah. you don't know, it's one of the lightest fucking drinks you can yeah. get. <laughs> but I like that. Like the, everyone in the the plane went. Like, everyone in first class <laughs> went to coach. But then like. So I thought they were setting up like the the flight attendant comes out. She doesn't like them. When she comes back, she has a parachute. Right. Because she's getting out of the plane. I'm like, oh, are they all so scared? They're all like the pilot and everyone's going to jump out of the plane. But then like it was just her. That's a classic monster's yeah. joke. And I, I thought like the plane was going to crash. And, and they weren't get, faced by it. And they would get out of the rubble and be like, huh, that was weird. But like, no, they just. They land on the island from Lost. Obviously, George yeah. Garcia is there. <laughs> and then uh, what you call it? You hear uh, the Marilyn Munster's <laughs> yes. voice on the intercom. Welcome to beautiful Los Angeles. Uh, Pat they, Priest, I, mean, I believe Russian her name is. Pat Priest, she is. Yes, uh, and I think okay. she was actually the second Marilyn because I think was. the first one passed away. No, oh, okay. uh, well, maybe recently. More well, recently, yeah. sure. Yeah, not <laughs> not was, at the time, not in the sixties. Yeah, she was blacklisted. Really, really? Yeah, because she really missed her family and like her boyfriend, I think, and mm. she just wanted to go back just to see them for a little bit. So they just recasted, and no one uh, knew, knew. No Ho one knew. Hollywood. Yeah, I know. that's like when Billy from Power Rangers. I don't remember the name of the actor, but he complained about everyone like being really, really fucking mean to him, and then oh, he just yeah. got fired. Yeah, he got mm. fired, or maybe it wasn't him. It was definitely one. I think actually he that the, that was a thing. But I'm actually thinking of uh, the Black and Yellow Ranger that oh, were also yeah. very racistly cast <laughs> that asked for a pay raise and they were fired and replaced. Yes, anyway, yes, that happened. America. The original Red Ranger was almost a Native American actor. I, they caught that one, though. They're like, okay, we can't do all three. Like, we, that's going to be really bad. Saban, what were you thinking? <laughs> oh, know. my God. Sorry. I remember reading that fact. I'm like, oh, my God. They're like, all right, two, that's a coincidence. Three, yeah. I'm starting to pay attention. Uh, anyway. They all do conventions. They, they all do conventions. More power to them. Uh, yeah. But just to get... <laughs> Kimberly, just, she's pretty good. From that trash fire to this trash fire, we get the final <laughs> closing of the, the airplane scene where she jumps out the airplane. Yeah. I think it is kind of funny how Herman and them just sit there while the fucking mm -hmm. air is getting sucked yeah. out of the cabin. But then they meet Cassandra Peterson. She faints. And she warns them that today's Halloween, so she's going to be in costume. Yeah, then she probably shouldn't have fainted. It would have made more sense if it wasn't Halloween. Which, that makes sense. Great costume, by the way. Yes. Yeah. It is also, I think, a reference to the first episode of The Monsters. I think it's like Monsters Masquerade or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. Where they literally, the first episode of the show is they have a Halloween party. Right, That's right. Fun. But then but they're like, already, they live there already. So there it's a is different. a weird ass black and white driving green screen montage. And I was like, yeah. Now, there was weird editing stuff in this, like the weird graphics. Yeah, we didn't really screens. talk too much about that. that Some of those split screens are horrible, man. Like, Kieran, <laughs> I was telling Kieran about that, the lightning bolt. I was like, you could do that in Illustrator in, like, fucking two well, minutes. There, he pulled it up. He did it in, like, a minute flat. I was like, man, that's <laughs> There's rough. also, like, the transitions that look like something you would do when you're first learning how to edit. I, like, like, I'm going to put a star wipe. Yeah, George <laughs> Lucas editing, yeah. <laughs> this was the point. I, I get, No, I know, I, I know. I know. editing in the show, though, from what I watched. It's his... Movie. I, I got you. He okay. recreated Halloween. Okay. Well, <laughs> he tried. <laughs> the montage, though, the driving yeah, just uh, felt right. like. Uh, Rob Zombie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because there was only one montage before that, and that was the Sonny and Cher one, but that one visually wasn't as weird as uh, this one. It was like more like Austin Powers. That one scene in Austin Powers where he's like moping, it was similar to that, yeah. where it's like him and, uh, well, Lily and Herman walking with Sonny yeah. and Cher in the background. But yeah, yeah right. it, was, it was a little weird. But um, yeah, so they. The realtor and I saw this joke coming a mile away. Is the 
realtor is in front of the nice house, but they're looking at the mansion. Mm -hmm. and it's like, it's going to cut to the wide shot and she's going to be looking at the nice house. I do like the how the thorn like, in her side. Yeah. I do like that. They were like, oh, don't, don't buckle, like really negotiate. <laughs> and like Herman's trying to like get her down. And she's like, no, it's, it's yours. And he's like, now listen, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, you have it. It's yours. Take it. Yeah. Cause I do kind of love how the, like once they're married, Herman's like, oh, I'm the man of the house now. I'll handle it. Even though he's the dumbest one in the room. <laughs> Now, they do have the Halloween party. Yeah. The whole town is dressed in costumes and stuff, but it's like the the other monster, the real monsters in this movie didn't look much better than the fake monsters yeah. in this movie, so it didn't really ring true to me. Okay. I don't uh, know. It didn't really work. For, I get the, I, the idea behind it was mm -hmm. funny. I, I, I'm kind of 50-50 split on that scene because I like it. Like no. from a standpoint of like, yeah, this is kind of like what would happen, but also then you're like peppering in like them dancing and shit, and Grandpa doing like one of these. I'm like, yeah. all right, again, it's like so much dancing. A reference to the but 60s, like dancing but with like sped up footage yeah. and stuff. It's it's a fine scene. Again, like I'm finally at the point in the movie where I'm somewhat enjoying it, so I'm being a little less critical at this point. Yeah. Herman meets his employers, his future employers, yep. the, the funeral home guys. That, that was, was that funny. was good. I love I love how they played those characters up, how they're playing kind of like your stereotypical like yeah. Christmas Carol style, like Undertakers, <laughs> a very, very morose. Yeah. Uh, then the next day, Herman goes to work. With, with his actual costume from the show. Yes. Finally. But I feel like uh, I said finally like 10 times in this but, interview. But everyone's weird now and by weird i mean normal yep. and then he he says call 911 do this and then he screams car 54 where are you car 54 where are you reference to the show that al lewis and uh fred gwynn did together before monsters that's gonna go over a lot of people's heads i'm like that is a very <laughs> that's a super deep cut i wouldn't have known what that was if i didn't go to some convention as a teenager and some actor from the show was there My right it's like i remember that show oh that's one your dad or your mom takes you to and points it out and you're like huh and you're like yeah okay. cool so do you like that it's in there or no that's just it's a weird right i mean i get it's it because of, i get the connection but i'm like it's gonna go over a lot of people's heads if they don't. If know. you're gonna yeah. reference it, I guess that's the way to reference it. Sure. Yeah, so they're all scared, they want to move. And then Lily's like, No, we have to accept them for who they are. It's oh. the inside that counts. And like, oh. oh, we need an x-ray. I thought that was which, funny. We're gonna need which, x-ray glasses. That that is literally from an episode specific. I mean that, that's like yeah. a theme throughout the whole series, but it's a reference to an episode that I was gonna do a bit about on this episode, <laughs> but I've left the fucking can of tomato soup <laughs> in my cabinet. <laughs> But there's an episode where Eddie grows a beard, and I forget the semantics. Oh, I remember that one! And I remember that one! And the whole thing is he keeps getting made fun of because he has a beard. And it's yeah. all about what you just said, that Lily's line at the end where it's like, well, it's what's inside that matters. Yeah. And he dips his his beard in the soup, and it falls off. I was going to be willing to do that, <laughs> cut my beard off, make it look all funny and shit. <laughs> then I was like, all right, well, okay, because the bit was this, that that bit had more heart than this movie. Okay. But then I actually watched the movie, and I was like, all right, I don't like it, but it, it is at least trying to reference the old movie, so maybe I'll just drown myself in the soup. <laughs> I'm, I'm explaining the bit because it's not going to happen. Because but you just, left the soup uh, Yeah. Uh, just like I left the Butch Patrick autograph at home. Casey's the only one on point with the dolls. Yeah. yeah. And the sign. And yeah. the shirt. <laughs> yeah. You made up for both of us. <laughs> so, yeah, then Lester shows up, and he's like, you guys are rich now. Right, because all of a sudden he's good at gambling after, like, years of yeah. being a fuck-up. And then they dance, and the 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 credits play <laughs> the original song the original and everything. Original song, and then and then it's over. So as the voice of positivity here, <laughs> yeah. I really wish like it could have ended with like, oh, I'm pregnant or something to. <laughs> That's how the Adam Eddie Family movie there. ended. Yeah. Oh, the first yeah. one, yeah, where she's like knitting with the three legs or whatever. Or something to do with Marilyn in it, yeah. or just yeah. have them tie in anything with the other characters. Yeah. So, um, but so, I really thought that I saw another so side of Rob Zombie for this you, movie. You love it. It's, it's now your favorite movie. It's uh, it's up there. <laughs> this movie was specifically made for me, I think. Honestly. It really, it was is that why you like it? It's like it's specifically made for me. <laughs> it's everything I wanted like growing up for this movie. So I like the future the future kids are like they're it's good that yeah. I have this. I I Maybe kids. Look, I don't hate it. I don't think it's the worst thing ever. Uh, I do think Rob Zombie's not very good at comedy or writing comedy. It's something he could learn to do. I wouldn't. He's have, quirky at heart. I wouldn't have trusted him with this franchise. I, I think he could do comedy in short bursts, but an entire movie, I think, maybe is where he falters. 
Yeah, I honestly wouldn't have minded if this was like a TV show and like this was the pilot and it was yeah. more like toward the Dude, end. Dude, I, I don't mean to cut off like your final thought, but I was yeah. thinking the same thing after watching it. Again, I'm beating a dead fucking horse here at yeah. this point or a dead spot. I don't know. <laughs> but like the last half hour outside of a couple minor things, I was like, this is what kind of what I wanted yeah. for the whole movie. And I get like Rob's trying to do like a prequel because he doesn't want to like step on the toes of the original too much because he's yeah. such a fan, supposedly. Yeah. But like, OK, let's have the movie. Obviously, like Casey likes it like, without me saying it. Obviously, I'm not big on it. You're not big on it. And like the Internet's kind of split. Mm -hmm. I feel like most people don't. But I've definitely seen other people that are in Casey's camp of like, no, I enjoyed it. I It was it was kind of what I wanted. But I guess my point of, of going off on that side tangent is just like I lost the point. <laughs> no. well, let me just think for a second. See yes. if I can remember what I was saying. That's actually even funnier, though. Oh, I, I guess my point is, like, it, it kind of makes me think of, like, remember we did E.T.? Yeah. Uh, it's not, like, an exact comparison, because the issue that we were saying with that movie is if you watch the, the one with the extra CGI, you never saw the original, you probably would be fine. You probably would be fine. If you never saw the monsters, though, I don't know who if this even works anymore, because yeah. I feel like I, I would love to talk to someone that's, like, 10, 15 years younger than us, that, it, that has no familiarity with it, other than oh, I've seen some images on Google, yeah. and see what they think. Do they like it more? Do they like it less? Like, do those references land at all? I mean, I guess they wouldn't, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, how? Like, I, I don't know. It's a very weird fucking movie. If this is my first exposure to the monsters, I would have been like, what? what is this? Uh, yeah. What is this? But... Uh, can I ask what you both expected when you first saw that he was making the monsters movie? Because I really did think they were going to make it a horror film. That's what yeah, I thought. No, I thought the I'm same like, thing. The whole, the, the age of gritty reboots is kind of come and gone. Like, people got tired of that. Like I know, like the Batman movies, there there, were, there was a time of like gritty reboots, like like 2005, to, like 2000, like 13, 14. Yeah. Uh, but we're kind of over that, so I don't know. I didn't know what to expect because I don't really follow Rob Zombie that much. But then when I heard he was gonna try and do it PG and everything, I was like, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. It's a hard thing to do. Yeah, I think that's why I don't hate the movie, yeah. although I don't think it's very good because it is a it was a really hard task to do. Mm -hmm. He tried. He did his best. I don't think it was good enough, but I don't envy him. Like, I would have had a hard time doing, and I have written comedy and stuff, but like, I would have had a hard time rebooting the monsters and whatnot. So he tried it. It's not the worst thing ever. No. It had a really bad trailer. Well, the trailer. That I, I watched over and over. You, well, <laughs> apparently, the Casey is the it best trailer me. ever. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, Casey's at the gym with like headphones in. They're like, hey, what, what's the new <laughs> song you're listening to? She's like, oh, I'm just listening to Rob Zombie's The Monsters trailer on a loop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that was before they announced that it was also coming to Blu-ray the same day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think like the studio, what I think is the studio was like, Rob Zombie, do whatever you want. And then they just forgot it was happening. And then they looked at it and they were like, oh, God. Uh, well, because he obviously made that like trailer in like Winamp or something and was like put it out randomly. And they're like, oh, Rob, what are you? It's Where did not, you get these graphics from? 1995? Edited, well, really. And I don't want to blame the editor because maybe he was instructed. To I think like Rob that. edited that first trailer straight Oh, the up. trailer maybe, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the movie. I'm sorry, yeah. The movie, like, some of the stuff could have been a little bit tighter. Sure. And, like, there's things they could have done. But, I mean, if you don't want to watch it, that's fine. Don't watch it. You might you might be like Casey. You might be like, it's the greatest love story ever told. <laughs> I think I really think this was his passion project, and he has such a big heart, and I never knew that. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll say this: I, I, he probably was a passion project. Again, he is a big fan; like he's not just making that shit up. Again, like Tony said, he named fucking song one of his probably his most famous song yeah. after the damn drag race car yeah. or drag car. Dragula, Dragula. <laughs> um, Get it? It's like Dracula, yeah, yeah. but it's a drag racer. <laughs> I agree with Tony. I don't hate this movie, yeah. but I don't like it. Uh, and, and I've kind of already said why. I, I think he honestly was trying to to pay homage to the monsters. Again, uh, initially, I thought he was just off off his fucking ass. Didn't know what the hell he was doing. Yeah. On, a, on After watching the movie, I get what he's going for. Would you watch a sequel? I would watch a TV show. If he did a TV oh, well, I guess that that's what I was trying to say, because you started talking about that, yeah. is that if this led to like a mini series or a, or a show to see what the fuck happens next, or say in five years we get a sequel, I don't think that's going to happen. Mm. We'll, we'll see. I mean... And we finally get Eddie, you have Marilyn. Maybe, maybe maybe Eddie's a thing already, but Marilyn, that's, that's the plot. Marilyn's come to live with Here's the thing. Like, I don't know. Rob Zombie makes his movies really cheap, so they yeah. almost always make their money True. back. 
Like there was that rumor this was forty million dollars, and even he was like, "No, like that forty million dollars is like all my movies combined, and even then they don't equal uh, to right. that." Right, and especially uh, the marketing wasn't great on this to, to begin wanna, with. But. Do you want to see a follow up to this? Mm-hmm. Would you? I wouldn't mind it, and I don't mind that it's a standalone either. Yeah, uh, give it a shot. Uh, I don't think it's the best comedy, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Don't watch it if you're in a bad mood. If you've been dealing with stagnant water shooting out of your washing machine that's in your kitchen because yeah. that's just how your apartment is. You have a washer and dryer in the kitchen. I, I would also just be really curious too. Like I know I already said this, but like in the comments or something or yeah. like in this live premiere, like let us know like what you thought. And like if you're a Monsters fan, because that, that is really something I'm like a little hung up on. Yeah. Because I, I just, I didn't mean to cut you off there, Tony, but it's just like, fine. I really just don't get who this movie's for. And I guess that's kind of my biggest takeaway. Whether it's for I Casey, lo- apparently. Well, it, 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 again, like <laughs> it's for people are going to enjoy this. Like you can enjoy what you want. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you can and can't like. Like I, I'm going to probably disagree with you on this one, but hey, that's your opinion. You're allowed to have it. Like we're yeah. not like, oh, oh, you didn't like you like the monsters. What's wrong with you? It's like, yeah. nah, it's I don't. I'm not going to get mad. It's not like. Uh, his Halloween movie. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm just hell's wrong with you? just trying to wrap my fucking head around this as a whole. I want to see like wh- where people say, are coming from. That's all. This is better than his Halloween movie. Like he got the point a little bit more than Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I, I, especially when they're both prequel. Well, the first yeah, half of prequel our prequels. Remakes. Yeah, both yeah. Prequel remakes. Uh, but but I, I also would just be interested to see like again. What would Eddie be in this universe? Mm-hmm. What the hell would Marilyn be? Like, what other plot points would they reference Casey, from the show? And Scout Marilyn? Taylor Compton should be Marilyn. I was going to say, are you going to audition for uh, to be Marilyn? Is she, is <laughs> she just actress. yelling the entire time? Ah. Fuck you, Uncle you, Herman. You, you and Scout will get along. You both played Laurie Strode. <laughs> oh, God. That's true. Wait, but like, you like horror, right? Love horror. So, yeah. would you show your future kids this movie? Like, to no. grow up on? I, I, will, I will probably I never buy a copy no. of it. If I wanted to show them Munsters, I would show them the TV show. Okay. Yeah. Like, I would show them the Munsters. This isn't the Munsters I would show them. I, I, I'm also, like, of the mindset, and we'll see when I have kids. Maybe I'll just, this will go right out the fucking window, because what do I know? Is just, like, I don't want to be one of those people that, like, shows my kids all the shit that I watched as a kid, because yeah. it's, like, some of that, sure. I don't know. My grandfather did it, and I... So oh I yeah! All movies. Silence of the Lambs at four. No, that was my mom. My grandfather didn't. Oh, although no. we did all watch it together. No, he had uh, he had a uh, really Hannibal like- Holocaust, but that was what he had you for four. <laughs> what? No, Hannibal, Hannibal Holocaust. Holocaust I found on my own. Oh okay. Well, in pre-K, we all had to bring in our own movies, and I brought in Young Frankenstein. That's a good and they one. called my mom. <laughs> oh bullshit! I, I mean, there's some wait, sexual wait. stuff in that movie wait, for an wait, elementary wait. school Catholic student. School? What? No. Oh no! Yeah, I, I got in trouble in Catholic school for talking about rated R movies all the time. So that's what I thought. But yeah, no, that's that's a teacher's yeah, overreacting. Yeah. But anyway, that was it from us. Let us know what you thought of the Munsters. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't yet, check out our Halloween parody that we did. Yes. Uh, Sean was Sheriff Brackett in it. <laughs> Casey was Laurie Strode. I was myself. And sometimes my I was heavy set Michael Myers. I want to I really want to thank the guy who wrote Evil Diets tonight. Thank you. Are you serious? <laughs> Was that a comment? Is that the- Yeah. <laughs> I, posted, I posted the image of me as Michael Myers in the with the outside looking up at the window and someone said evil diet. Oh my tonight. god. Uh well, 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 what? I, it was one of those where I was like, you son of a bitch. I'm like, it was it was too funny, I couldn't get mad at it. <sighs> I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you know what, you sons of bitches. I shouldn't give you the energy by laughing. I but. couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I oh read it over and over again. I'm like, oh, you sons of bitches. Uh, uh, but before we get out of here, I just want to mention that Tony also will be on Movie Dumpster. We didn't mention this on the best Halloween 2 episode because it wasn't actually cemented in stone at the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was a last minute replacement. And I basically uh, yeah, was yeah. like, if if you guys don't film it on this day and the guest falls through, I'm ready yeah. to talk about Halloween Resurrection. Right. Does that come out? Uh, it so, probably comes out later this week. Uh, yes, uh, unless something changes between now and then. Yes, it should be out this Friday as of the release of this episode. And uh, yeah, Halloween yeah. Resurrection. And me, Joe, and uh, Tony are talking all about it. The day before, if I got around to doing it, I should be reviewing both work prints of mm. Halloween Resurrection. The Halloween Resurrection work print and the Halloween Homecoming, which was the original right. title work print. Because there are some deleted scenes that were always available and some that are only available in these cuts. So it's going to be a great Halloween resurrection yes. themed week. It's the it's, well, you got to do the hat trick. You got to You got to you got to watch the, the Halloween <laughs> in five minutes. Yes. Then you got to watch the best Halloween, too. Yes. Then you watch uh, 
I guess this. The, the, yeah. uh, and then you watch on Movie Dumpster, moviedumpsterpodcast.com. Yeah. You go and check out the Halloween Resurrection review. Yes. And by the way, you forgot one important one. Oh, there was one more. I said four. Here's the important one. Um, you know, when people, uh, we did a Halloween 2 thing. And I realized I never really reviewed Halloween 1. I have a commentary oh, right, on yeah. Patreon. So I made sure to review it with the best co-host ever, Mint Salad. Uh, I showed it to her on my birthday. She fell asleep, but she remembered enough of it to do the review. Watch that review. It's one of the funniest. So what what is that? A quad trilogy? What is five? Right. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, anyway. It's a great lineup. Anyway, 31, check, obviously. 31 ology, obviously. And uh, if you're trying, if you're evil and you want to diet tonight, Casey, where can we get your book? <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> you can get it. Which on- I also <laughs> left at home. God damn it. Oh! It's sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You can get it on gumroad.com slash Casey J. Hempel. There you go. There you go. Evil diets tonight. (laughs) Bye. They're playing like Felicia versus Bishamon. And if Bishamon ends with a certain move, you just cut Felicia in half. Did you make sure to see Orchid's thong? Here's 30 more chances as she spins around. See, you've got the Batgirl shirt on and you're wearing a Robin t-shirt. Batgirl and Robin to your Batman. And Turtles ha- is like Star Wars in the like Star Wars is a 70s thing that ran into the 80s. Yeah. Turtles started in the 80s but really grew in the 90s. Yeah. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.